Welcome back. In this tutorial, we will learn remaining command from profile toolbar and constraint defined in dialog box. So, click on start mechanical design sketcher. Okay. Then select the plane on which you want to create the sketch. So, here we have already seen the profile, and next is rectangle. So, click on rectangle, give the first point. You can all give the second point and using constraint you can give the dimension. Click on constraint, click on the line, give the position, double click and change the dimension. And if you want the dimensions to come automatically, then for that give the rectangle command, give the first point, then press tab button so that you can from here you can give the width. Suppose width is 50 tab there m has came so you have to remove that otherwise otherwise it will create in meter and here height is suppose 100 then press enter so here rectangle is created with the dimensions has been placed automatically so in these two ways you can create drawing in katia so you can create the object then give the dimension using constraint or using tab you can give the parameter here. So if we click on the arrow on the rectangle below the rectangle there is next is oriented rectangle. So give the first point, give the second point, give the third point. Then using constraint you can give the angle, click on H and the inclined line and give the angle and you can also give the parameter then next is parallelogram so click on it give the first point second point and third point and using constraint you can give the parameters next is elongated hole click the center point then give the other point of the axis then give the third point drag it outside and click and using constraint so radius is already given there so using constraint you can give the dimension to this length to this line escape constraint click on this line and you can give the length whatever is the length and radius is also already given here. So in this way elongated hole is created. Then next is cylindrical elongated hole. Click on that. Give the center point. Give the start point of the <coughs> elongated hole. Then give the end point. Then drag it outside and click there. And then you can give using constraint, you can give the radius of this circle. Then you can also give, suppose I want it to be at some particular angle. Then using axis, you can from the center, you can connect this endpoint and give the angle to this axis using constraint. So whatever angle you want 100 so as per that it will be created up to that angle and the radius is already there so in this way you can create cylindrical elongated hole then keyhole profile click on it give the center point then give the second point vertically down then just drag the motor mouse outside give the first radius then give the second radius so in this way it has been created so using constraint you can give the parameters required parameters then next is polygon hexagon hexagon give the center point then give the other point suppose I want it horizontal 
so in this way it has been created so using constraint you can give dimension constraint if suppose I want to give face to face distance so just click on the first line second line and location and change the dimension or if you want to give corner to corner that also you can give using constraint give the first point second point now again it is face to face actually we will just press escape constraint take the first point then click on the second point carefully give the location now it has become ping that means you have given more parameters than required now if you want to give it corner to corner then there is no need to give face to face so we will remove this so in this way you can change it and if you want edge length that constraint click on the edge and give the edge length so in this way you can give the parameter to, to the polygon right, hexagon then next is center rectangle you can create rectangle from the center click on the center drag diagonally and click there so it will always maintain center as a fix if you change the length then also center will not shift the surrounding lines will be shifted so in this way you can create rectangle from center then circle we have already seen the circle command then there is three point arc is there you have to give start point first point second point and third point so it will create an arc passing through three points then next is three point arc starting with limits so at first you have to give start point and end point then define the radius point and using constraint you can give the radius and other is from center point give the center point give the start point of the arc and the end point of the arc so in this way in these three ways you can create the arc then next is spline for spline give the start point and click point in zigzag mode one point above and one point below press escape to come out so your spline will be ready then ellipse we have already seen the ellipse then there is parabola by focus so here also you can read the action to be done select a point or click to locate the focus so give the first point then apex point then start point of the parabola and end point of the parabola so in this way you can create the parabola then next is hyperbola by focus so again give start point then locate the center point then locate the apex point then give the start point and give the end point so in this way you can create the parabola by focus and you can give the parameter using constraint then conic click on the conic and give the first point second point then specify the locate the second end point then define the conic between those two lines okay at first conic suppose one line is Okay, the tangent first tan tangent is like this second tangent is like this and in between a conic will be created so in this way conic is created then line we have seen it axis we have seen it and by clicking the point you can give the point for reference if required then next is uh, we want to see this constraint defined in dialog box suppose I have some line suppose by mistake I drawn it inclined I want it either horizontal or vertical so select the line 
and click on this constraint defined in dialog box so you here you can give the length of the object which are object you have selected you can make it either horizontal i will just undo it click here undo or you can make it select the object click on constraint defined in dialog box so you can using this dialog box you can define different constraint if you click on vertical it will become vertical suppose i have two lines are there this is the first line and i will give some angle to it suppose from horizontal h then i have this one more line if you want to select multiple object then you have to hold press control and hold it press and hold the control button then click on constant defined in dialog box so from here you can give the parameter distance length angle or you can make it perpendicular if you want it or you can make it parallel so you can make it parallel or perpendicular using constant defined dialog box suppose i have one circle is there suppose this one circle is there then this other circle is there suppose i will give parameter to it using constraint and some gap is there between the two circles now i want a th third circle which i want actually tangent to this both circle i want this circle to be tangent to this both circle so at first i will give parameter using constraint then press control and click on both the object release the control click on constraint defined in dialog box and from here you can define tangency okay same way here click on the circle control other object then constraint defined in dialog box tangency so in this way you can make two circle tangent or if other object is also there that also you can make it tangent suppose one line is there i want this line to be tangent to this so before that suppose i will give some location to it location to that line with respect to this center suppose from this line to this horizontal suppose what your is angle that i have given plus i want to give from v to this point location that i have given then i want to make it tangent so click the line control select the circle constant define and dialog box so you can make it tangent also if you want it so in this way you can in this way you can use constant defined in dialog box so at first you have to select the object to which you want to apply the constraint then it will automatically show the available constraint and from that you have to select it so suppose i want this concentricity so i will just suppose i will delete this circle and i remove this dimension so that it can move and if i select this both two and constant defined in dialog box then concentricity so it will both center will become same and as this circle was fully defined that is green therefore only white white circle will move because it is under defined so in this way you can define concentricity then if you define the coincidence Okay, that will be a problem. Okay, suppose I want, suppose I want to, I want to touch this point to this circle. So I will select this circle and this point. Then click on constant defined in dialog box and coincidence. So it will automatically extend up to that 
point and so in this way you can use the constraint defined in dialog box so thanks for watching we will stop here